Web Hosting Control Panel cPanel Video Tutorials Outlook Email Client Setup In this video I'm going to take you through how to set up an Outlook email client. So in your control panel you will have logged in you will have set up your email accounts. Once you've set up a POP3 email account within your control panel you'll then be able to access it via an email client on your PC or Mac. In this video, we're going to be talking about Outlook, Outlook, uh, Microsoft Outlook for PCs. So I've created a test account, and here it is here, test at websiterenos.com. Now, what we need to do here is we can click Configure Email Client. So we did the More drop-down. Now, we have some automated uh, configuration files that you can download and load up for these particular products. I don't, however, recommend that you do that. I recommend that you do it manually. Now here are some credentials uh, that you can use to actually set up your account and really the only ones that you're interested in is the um, incoming mail server, this one here, and your username which is here and of course you would remember the password that you set that email account up with and then the outgoing mail server you may need this one here but I do recommend that you use your ISP uh, mail server as the outgoing mail server. And we'll talk about that as we uh, get into the tutorial. So these are some basic information that you need to know. You need to know the email address you created, the, use, the password that you put with it, and you need to know what your mail server, your POP3 mail server is called, which is this one here, incoming mail server. So let's go ahead now and get into Outlook. So this happens to be Outlook 2010. Same sort of scenario applies for the other versions of Outlook as well. Seeing as this is the current version, we'll do a video on this one. Now what we need to do is we need to set up some accounts. So we need to go into account information and we need to add an account. Now what I want you to do is manually configure server settings or additional server types. Don't worry about filling out the, um, the wizard. We're going to manually do this. You've got more control this way. Then we're going to choose internet email. Now we put in the name. We put in the email address. We choose POP3. Now you will have got this information which is mail. This is my server you would have your own account so it would be mail dot your domain name the outgoing mail server I'm going to use my ISP the login information is the email address that you created and the password whatever you made it to be so we need to come over here into more settings and this is where we can set up our organization and a reply email and then the outgoing requires authentication because our outgoing is different to our incoming. Our outgoing is our ISP's SMTP server rather than the inbuilt mail server in your account. You can of course use both but I strongly recommend that you use your ISP's SMTP server. If you choose your outgoing mail server to be your account on your hosting account you will need to change the port number to 26 because ISPs usually block port 25 so in this case I'm using my ISP SMTP outgoing server so I'm going to leave it at port 25 leave a copy of messages on the server and remove from the server after 14 days that way the server and I'm going to change that to 7 that way the server doesn't get filled up with your emails now you could simply turn that off email account in your Outlook will download all the emails out of your hosting account down onto your local PC. I like to leave a copy up on the server for about seven days in case I need to access it via webmail but if you don't do that take them off the server because that way you're freeing up heaps of space on your account for other things. Lock that in. We're going to test the account settings again now that we've entered in the outgoing um, credentials and it's completed. All tests completed successfully. So now you can see, just as a recap, name, email address, POP3, 
This is your incoming server, which will be your hosting email server. The outgoing will be your ISP. In my case, I'm using Optus for this example. You might have IINet, you might have Dodo, you might have Telstra, you might have any other ISP, whatever you use to connect to the internet. You put in your username and your password for your incoming server here. You go to more settings and you enter in the outgoing credentials here. So we're going to push next, does its test, close, finish. Now we can send and receive. That, en that ends our tutorial on Outlook email client setup. Be sure to check out all our other cPanel tutorials to learn how to use the great features of your web hosting account and build your online business.